Scott Walker says tonight he is confident he is not the target of that ongoing John Doe investigation. And he also says that he was not aware of an alleged misconduct on the part of his aides. Political reporter Jessica Arp went to Wauwatosa today to speak with the governor. Jess. Well, the governor says because of his cooperation with the investigation, he's not allowed to say much, but he did tell us he took action after wrongdoing was discovered in his office. My number one job right now today, more than anything else, as your governor, is focusing on how do I help the people of the state create more jobs. Governor Scott Walker focusing on jobs and the state of the state at an event at Wauwatosa Tool Service Corporation, but answering questions from reporters about the arrest of his former aides. On um, what was announced yesterday, uh, I just want to right off the bat be perfectly clear, uh, throughout all my time as the Milwaukee County Executive, I had an expressed and clear policy uh, that county employees uh, in my office, in my cabinet, elsewhere, uh, were prohibited from using county resources or county time uh, to be involved in political activities. Walker says he asked for constituent services director Darlene Wink's resignation upon learning she had been posting political comments on the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's website. We've been aware of anybody else who violated that same policy. Uh, we would have taken the same action and says he wasn't aware of his former Deputy Chief of Staff Kelly Reinflisch allegedly doing extensive fundraising just down the hall from him. Well, what does it say about your management style that you didn't know that any of this was going on? Well, again, it's one of those where we had an express policy. Uh, we enforced it with individuals and we found that out. And uh, if we'd known about anybody else, um, you know, we have thousands of people that work for me in the county. We have plenty more uh, than that that work at the state. And uh, what I think it shows is in the case of Darlene Wink, when we found out about situations like that, we took action. The governor would not comment on specific details alleged in court documents, like whether he knew about a secret computer network, but he's adamant he's not the target of the investigation. No, I think it's very clear when all this is done, no matter how much time it takes, and again, uh, my campaign has been involved uh, with cooperating with them for more than a year, but I have every confidence that when this is completed, people will see that uh, our integrity remains intact. The governor declined to comment on the involvement of some of his current aides in the fundraising, including two who currently work for him in the governor's office and others in his campaign, saying that his office has been cooperating with investigators and that he's just simply not allowed to comment any further. So cooperating, but has, has he been interviewed, the governor? Well, we asked him directly that question today, and he again declined to answer that question, again citing his cooperation with the rules of the investigation. But he did tell the Journal Sentinel last week that he had not yet spoken to investigators. All right. Thank you, Jessica.